Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw my Draw So Cute birds from the Angry Bird movie. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing Chuck, the yellow bird. So right here, we're going to be drawing the feathers that stick up on top of his head. So I'm just going to go up with a curve, kind of like drawing a leaf, a very thin leaf. So for the first one, it sticks right up in the center. And then I'm going to come down about right here and draw another one that comes out and all coming back to this point right here and one more that kind of um, hangs down. So we've got three nice feathers in and so in here you can come in here and just give it a center. Kind of like drawing leaves basically. So we got the feathers in. Let's come down. We're going to start to draw at the top of his head. So from about right here because the feathers are um, stick on top of his head. We're going to come up right here a little bit and come down with a curve. And so um, Chuck here is more of a triangular bird so he's more he's much smaller here and he widens out. So I'm going to come down and flare it out and come around. So we're trying to aim for this shape right here. get fatter about right here. Same as the other side. Just try your best to match it. So you're kind of like drawing a little uh, carrot maybe, a melon. <laughs> and come, keep coming down. So for this bird right here, we're just going to come down a little bit more. We're coming down towards his legs. So about right here, I'm going to draw a little curve for the center. So right in the center, I'm going to draw a little curve. And then from here, I'm going to connect his little legs. So right here, I'm just going to come in here with a little curve on both sides. So I'm simplifying the Angry Birds, which make it a lot easier to draw. And so we got the basic shape of his body. So come back in here and um, draw his eyes. So towards where, before it starts to flare out, right here, draw two circles. And another one. And so the inside, draw another circle towards the inside of the eye. So right here, draw another one. So you're drawing towards the inside. Give yourself more space on the outside. And then you can come back in here and shade it. Just draw another small circle to give yourself a highlight. And just shade it in. So same thing here, another small circle and shade it in. So we've got the eyes in and so we've got to draw these awesome eyebrows that he has. So come up <laughs> from the top of the eye and we're just going to draw a curve that comes out and another one at the bottom. And so it, it comes out a little bit past his um, body and just connect it. So I'm gonna, I'll go back in there and erase that. So if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and erase it. So same thing on the other side, just come out and once again, same thing and connect it. And so then for his beak, so we're going to come under his eye right here and we're going to draw a curve that comes towards the center. We're going to come down towards the other side under his eye and this side is going to be a little bit longer because we have this little smirk, this uh, <laughs> wacky look that he has. So I'm making this part coming out a little bit longer. Come back in here, come down towards the center and go up. So then right here, you want to flare it out with a curve and bring it in. So this way you give him that wacky look that he, this um, Chuck bird here has. <laughs> That makes him really cute. And so from there, let's draw his arms, I mean his wings. So come towards under his eye and you can start to draw his wings that are just kind of at his side. Come down with a curve and bring it in with one and another one. So come to the other side, just kind of make sure it's about the same height. Down and one more. And for his feet, you're just going to get two little lines on both sides. And for him, I'm flaring it out. So this one comes out. 
and you're just going to draw one in there. So he has his little three toes. So same thing on the other side. So draw the outside first, and then you can come in with one toe, and then it connects it. And for the uh, for Chuck here, he has these black feathers at the end. If you wanted to, you could uh, right here because um, he's straightforward. You won't really see it much. You can just draw some tail feathers right here towards the back, like that. So we got check in, and next is Redbird, the angriest one. <laughs> so with um, Redbird here, I'm going to start by drawing a curve. So this is the top of his head. So I'm going to draw about right here next to our yellow bird, and we're going to come down all the way, and I'm going to kind of gauge it so I know his feet should be about right here. And come down. So the shape is basically the same for all my birds, which is whether it's uh, fatter or shorter, thinner. <laughs> so angry bird, the red bird right here is a little bit wider. Kind of like drawing an oval. And same thing, we're going to come here and draw a curve and connect it back in with a curve. And then right here, let's come back up here and we're going to draw the feathers that stick out of his head. So it's a curve, it's kind of more of a teardrop, center, and one more. And then for his face, so he has these awesome eyebrows that you have to have to draw because <laughs> that's what makes him <laughs> his angry bird. So right here towards the center, I'm going to give myself two little curves. So by doing this, I kind of make sure that it's nice and centered. And so from here, I'm going to angle it up. So however much you angle this is how angry he's going to be. So I'm just going to go up and connect it. So mine's not too angry, so I haven't, I didn't angle it too much. So I'm going to go up on the same thing on the other side and connect it. And you can shade this part in because it's nice and black. And the other side. So I hope you guys like how I translated these um, Angry Birds into my Draw So Cute Birds. <laughs> and let me know which one you guys like. The Angry Birds or the Cute Birds. <laughs> okay, so then from his thick eyebrows, you're going to come down here and we're going to draw a circle. So about right here, I'm going to draw a circle. Not a complete circle, but part of it. So you got two little curves like that, two big curves I mean. Then come back in again and draw another one. And so right here, I'm going to draw another one. And I could not resist, of course, so I had to give my bird some draw so cute eyes. <laughs> so I got the two highlights and the lines at the bottom. So right here, two small circles at the top, curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top, and lines at the bottom. And so for his beak, so we're going to come towards the center again, and we're going to come about right here, we're going to draw a curve down on both sides, and then connect it with a curve. And in the center, we're going to draw kind of like a widen out V for his beak. And so then from here, let's draw his feathers. So come down towards where his beak is, and you're going to start to draw his wing. So it's the same thing as Chuck. One, two, same thing on the other side. One and two. And his for his feet, just two on both sides and then flare it out. So one and the middle. So same thing here. One, other one, and the middle. So there, I got my red bird in. Finally, my bomb bird. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Once again, we're just going to draw 
a really big curve. So I'm going to draw a really big curve because Bombard's huge. So I'm just going to come up here and draw a big, nice circle. I'm going to go all the way down towards the bottom here again. And come all the way down. And once again, right here, draw a curve. So this one's a lot bigger. And connect it. Like drawing a drumstick. So you got this. And so I left a little gap here because I have to draw his fuse. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to draw a curve that winds down. Kind of like drawing a stem on a piece of fruit. And right here, I'm going to flare it out and zigzag it to connect it. That's for his fuse. And then one more layer. So you got the fuse in. And so let's come down here since I'm down here and draw his leg. So right here, I'm going to come down. Same thing. And flare it out. And connect it with one. So flare it out. And curve it one more. So you guys, two little feet in. So let's draw his eyes now. So right here with Bombard, once again, I'm going to give myself two little curves in the center. So nice and even. And I'm going to draw kind of slanted down a little bit for his eyebrows. So his are a little bit thinner. So same thing here. And connect it. And then from right here, I'm going to draw a big curve and connect it. And right here. And in the center, I'm going to draw a circle. Oh, not in the center, but towards the inside. Draw another one right here. And inside this circle, draw another circle. <laughs> and another circle and then shade it in. So give yourself a highlight. Another small circle and then shade it in for his eyes. And for Bomber towards right here, we're going to draw in the middle. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down. And I'm going to connect it. A big curve. And then in the middle for his beak area, just come in, up, and connect it. And for his wings, so come towards under his beak right here. I'm going to draw a big wing because he is the biggest and connect it. So about right there. Same thing in and another one. So there, angry birds or my not so angry birds. Please let me know in the comments below which one you guys like. If I had to pick one from uh, my group of Angry Birds, I would definitely pick the Blackbird because he's so cute and he's the bomb. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos. See you later.